Um, we're here with Tom Wagner with SunGuard. Uh, Tom, what's your position with SunGuard and what's your major focus? Uh, I'm Vice President of Product Management for Retention of Student Success. And so that's really everything from the student first enters the institution uh, all the way through to achieving their goal, whatever their educational goal is, to achieve a career goal or further schooling. Yes. Now, and you have product responsibility for signals. For signals, right. And uh, tell us a little bit about the uh, about the, the details on that. We had a good interview yesterday with Bill Graves where right. he set the general stage. Right. But why don't you get down to the guts and feathers of what's involved? Sure. So Core Signals is a product that was developed initially at Purdue, and now we're in partnership with Purdue on taking it uh, further. And it's really focused on course level success. So in the whole retention scheme of things, uh, there's lots of early warning systems. But what we're trying to focus on here is a very early warning system, namely week two, week three, week four during the semester. How can I predict which students are most likely to fail this individual course? So what the algorithm that Purdue has developed does is it allows you to um, identify in week two or week three based on engagement with the learning management system, with grade book entries, and with student system data, which students are most likely to get a DF or withdraw from the course. And then once you know that, it also has the communication tools to allow you to reach out to those students with a faculty-composed email, not a canned system right. message. That's specific to that course and where you are in the course. Is it week two? Is it week six? Reach out to them via email and via a signal, an icon that's posted on mm -hmm. their learning management system course homepage, uh, which when they click on it, gives them the same advice that they got via email. Namely, come to office hours, go to the math center, go to the tutoring center. So it's very specific to where they are in the yeah. course. And it's, it scrapes data from ERP and LMS? What specific uh, sources? Right. So it's pulling data from the gradebook, from the um, activity log files within the learning management system, so both the quantity and the quality of the interactions that the student has with the LMS and from the student information system. So there's kind of four buckets of data. One we call the effort variables, which is that quantity and quality of engagement with the LMS. The grade book. Uh, second, third is the academic prep variables, which are things like grades and uh, test scores from, from other classes. Uh, and then the fourth is kind of a demographics bucket. If you know as an institution that you have certain groups like part-time students, transfer students, first-generation college students that are particularly high-risk groups at your campus, you can give them an extra boost in the risk algorithm. So it enables you to look at uh, at-risk students, at-risk behavior, right. and based on actual performance and level of engagement. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. So this is the offering that you, you're making available, and and. Uh, do you have to have special uh, APIs and linkages with other course management systems and other ERP systems? So in our initial version one, which we announced just this week, we have integration to the Banner student system and the PeopleSoft student system. Um, we also have integration to the Vista slash WebCT learning management system. Okay. In November, we'll have the adapter for the Blackboard Academic Suite, and then we have other uh, LMSs planned for integration during the first half of next year. Okay. So tell us a little bit about your future plans, about how to further beef up this, this project and to involve insights from other institutions in doing so. Sure. So uh, as the product is calculating the signals, it's gathering data. So there's a database that's being collected as we go, which will allow us over time to refine the results for that individual institution. Um, and as we have development partners, so we have Purdue obviously as a development partner, but also some other uh, community colleges and other types of institutions, so it's not just kind of for the R1 to the, the four years. Um, we're going to be working with them on how we want to refine the algorithm in ways that we can cooperate across institutions um, to be able to refine, to use data to refine the algorithm. And then in terms of functionality, the, the focus really for Core Signals is on that faculty and student interaction. So here are faculty having day-to-day -day contact with students. So much of what we do in the retention field is focused on the academic advisors, who are obviously a very important part of the puzzle. Uh, but the, the initial focus of Signals is really on that faculty-student interaction. Yes. But obviously, academic advisors are going to want the most updated status on where students stand in their individual courses. So that data uh, that faculty can see in version one will also be made available to academic advisors. So they can look at all their advisees or some subset um, and be able to see what their current status is and their current registered courses. Excellent. Now, in the, 
in the future, what are your, your future plans? A year from now when we have this conversation, what, what's, what's going to be new uh, in the offering? Sure. So in addition to the academic advisor view, we also want to have a student view. Um, we've been talking as a company about our mobile strategy mm -hmm. um, here at the, the conference. So there will be a mobile component of it as well. Um, and really just expanding the number of learning management systems and student systems that we integrate to, as well as making that data available to other SunGuard systems and also through web services to other uh, homegrown systems on campus. So as an example of that, our DegreeWorks product will be able to consume the current signal status from signals and display that within the DegreeWorks um, academic advisor. Very view. good. Well, Melissa, well, Tom, one of the things that we're doing on the uh, the uh, Public Forum for Action and Analytics is posting uh, white papers, case studies, and, and vendor descriptions. If sure. you could send me uh, electronic versions of your materials, I'd be sure. happy to get them up there. That'd be great.